this is a trigonometric equation you're solving for theta to be an acute angle or it's between 0 to 90 degrees both inclusive so what will you do is you see one side you have a fraction so the quickest way you can do is cross multiply and get rid of the fraction so tan theta I'll copy the numerator as it is and I'll cross multiply with the opposite denominator now after you have cross multiplied you see that there is a common term plus 2 and plus 2 you can get rid of it now what will you do is you got tan theta again both sides and sine theta you got it both sides so tan theta you can bring it together so when I'll do that I'm sending the smaller coefficient other side I'll get one of the tan thetas and similarly when I bring this minus 6 this side I get 9 sine theta okay now again what you do is because your theta is unknown so sine theta is unknown right that we are finding the value of the angle so what you should you do is you know tan can be expressed as the ratio of sine to cos so you can do that sine theta divided by cos theta now at this moment a lot of my students go ahead and cancel out sine from both sides which is something you should never consider because you're canceling out sine theta from both sides meaning you're dividing by sine theta to cancel out those so it could be zero the unknown value the unknown variable can be zero too so what you're telling is you you are just considering that it is never zero that is the reason you're canceling out the variable term which can be done otherwise you don't want to do that instead what will you do is you will cross multiply and you just got sine theta equals to 9 sine theta cos theta you can factorize actually so when you bring both the terms this side sine theta gets factorized or it it comes out common giving me 1 for the first term and minus 9 cos theta equals to 0 so this is how I have two options now sine theta should be equal to 0 and 1 minus 9 cos theta equals to 0 sine theta is 0 when I'll take the sine inverse of 0 which is 0 degrees and then cos theta is equal to this one goes to the other side or I'm just sending this term to the other side gives me 1 by 9 because 9 is a multiplier here so cos theta is 1 by 9 theta has to be expressed as cos inverse of 1 9th so if you are doing this paper without a calculator you will have to leave your answer here itself you got the two values of theta okay this is how you get the maximum number of values provided you don't kick out any variable commonly from both sides hope that made sense